What's up and good afternoon guys. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a fun one. So stick around and we'll be right back right after this. What's up and good afternoon guys. Welcome back. So I got a shout out to uh, Julie's Nature Shots. She's the one that kind of uh, asked me about this. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and make it real quick. So I'm going to start with uh, my camping trip this past weekend on Friday. Um, so we kind of got a, well, I should say I kind of got a little bit of a late start. Um, ended up, uh, was going to meet my brother. We were all going to go like do lunch somewhere or whatever and then go uh go camping so friday afternoon um i left here a little bit late i ended up meeting them down at the uh lake where we're gonna go camp at got down there around three o'clock or so and uh, met up with them um anyway so we put on our backpacks uh helped each other out getting everything gathered up um hiked into our campsite and um, anyway I've got a little bit of the hike not a lot just like a minute or so of the hike in on the trail but uh, anyway what I'll do is I'll put uh, the hike in and then after this I'll put pictures of what our campsite looked like because I got a few pictures of it but I ended up really not doing any filming just because of all the craziness that happened but anyway on with the story um get our campsite clear it all out where we're where we're going to be at get everything set up and so friday night was the night that no one got any sleep and i mean well except for my brother's friend who he slept i don't know how he slept but he slept but anyway um Friday night, uh, we had across the lake from where we were at, somebody pulled in with a truck and backed it down the boat ramp and kind of set it right at the edge of the ramp or whatever. Um, turned his music up as loud as he could get it. His truck was pretty loud. He opens up all the doors, has the music just at as max level as he could get it. I uh, was doing something around the back of the truck for about 30 minutes or so, and then we hear this big loud bang, and then about halfway across the lake, big ginormous huge boom, and the sky lights up, well, I should say the whole lake, our campsite, everything that was around there just lit up bright. He'd shot off one of those big giant like firework balls like you see it shoot up in the sky and they go boom and they make those big balls or whatever. So he shot one of those off but it came across the lake toward our camp and it got about midway across and went off. Uh, and that happened at around 2 o'clock in the morning and we just started to bed around 1. Uh, we headed around about 1 o'clock in the morning went to bed and at 2 this happened. Then, uh, after he shot the firework off, he jumped in his truck, shut all the doors, peeled out up the hill, went up into the parking lot up above, and was doing about four or five donuts there, peeling out all the way up the street, and around the corner, and out onto the, the main road, and was peeling out, going up and around. Well, by then, we're all awake by now. So none of us got to get any sleep and then again at about four in the morning same thing guy comes back drives down to the boat ramp just blaring his music as loud as he possibly can has it all the way up opens up all the doors sitting there for about 30 more minutes or so and this time instead of shooting the firework across the lake at us he kind of shoots it up and at an angle and you hear the big loud boom from the cannon thing and then massive huge boom wakes everybody up again at four o'clock in the morning and everybody within probably a quarter mile of us heard it 
and uh, was really upset. I found this out the next day that everybody that was there was really upset about it, was wondering, you know, what the crap was going on. Anyway, he jumps back in his truck after shooting it off again, peeling all the way up, just peeling rubber all the way up the hill, goes up in the parking lot, does about five or six more donuts, goes up to the main road, peels up the road, peeling rubber all the way up the road, and disappears. So, uh, that was about 4.30, and then, so we're like, well, this guy's probably going to come back again here in another hour, two hours, whatever, he's going to do it again, so none of us really slept. So, finally, Saturday afternoon, um, we kind of started to try and lay down and get some sleep. Well, that didn't last long. Our campsite where we were located at just happened to be on a major horse trail. Well, they had a Facebook uh, horse riding group that came out there, and probably over 100 people or so, right behind our campsite where we're camped at, is this trail. And there's about 100 people just constantly going by all day long. And they're talking really loud, and they're being real loud. The horses are doing their thing, and just clomping on by, and neighing, and all kind of crazy stuff. People walking along the shoreline right in front of our campsite with their dogs. A uh, guy in a bass boat pulls up about 7 o'clock in the morning. He's got his radio on his boat turned on. Him and a guy are sitting there talking back and forth in the boat. Uh, yelling over the top of the music at each other, you know, talking back and forth or whatever, but up over the music being really loud. Finally, about 8, 8.30 or so, they pull out and take off. Then another kayaker comes by and stops and starts talking to my buddy that's sitting there at the shoreline who fell asleep in his chair. She woke him up, and uh, they're sitting there chatting for a while. Meanwhile, there's horses going by, people going by on the trail, people walking their dogs, and all kind of stuff going on back behind us, just one right after the other. Probably a hundred or so people just all day long. So, finally, Saturday night, everything kind of calmed down, and around like probably nine o'clock, eight, nine o'clock, finally everything just kind of sort of calmed down. So, we start to bed around probably... Uh, I think it was around like 10 or 11 that night on Saturday night and then at about I don't know, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning somebody pulls down on the boat ramp has their uh, lights turned on and on high beam and they're beamed right into our campsite the whole night none of us slept because we couldn't sleep because it's so freaking bright uh and uh, so this guy on a kayak, like, kayaks over to the guy that's in the truck, gets up, and tells, wakes the guy up, knocks on his door, because apparently he'd gotten cold and jumped his truck to, to get warm or whatever, and left the lights on and left the truck running. And uh, so some kayaker guy went over and told him, hey, you might want to turn off your lights. You're shining right in the... the uh, people that are camping across from you or whatever and the guy's like oh, oh okay or whatever and then dozed back off and went back to sleep and never turned off his lights so saturday uh saturday night sunday morning by this time now um no sleep hardly at all uh maybe an hour here hour there whatever as we could and then sunday afternoon we finally all just around like noon got up started packing everything up and hiked out and got in the truck and left and came home so yeah this weekend was kind of a crazy weekend to say the least and uh yeah absolutely nuts probably one of the worst camps i've ever been to um as far as just stuff going on but anyway that's kind of how the weekend went and i just wanted to kind of get out here and uh give a shout out to julie she's kind of the one that asked about it so there you go julie there's kind of what happened so anyway i've been red fox with red fox outdoors until next time get out and enjoy nature bye guys
We can trade off with that thing, man. Oh, that's all right. Are you sure? We'll get to this hill and then we'll trade? Yeah. Let's do that.